All right, College Algebra 149, B, 2024, Part 1A, by Professor Alfredo Gilvez, Jr., 073123. All right. Solve the quadratic equation by completing the square. You know what? Before I do that, if you need most money right now, you need some of this cash right here, guess what? Open 24 hours, Mom just got Mexican Cafe, Great boss, great food, great work. You want lots of this, lots of hours. You can work getting lots and lots of this for college if you need it. But let's say you don't need it. Let's say you don't need it. So solve the quadratic equation by completing the square. Here's the original problem. X squared plus 6x equals 40. So now x squared plus 6x, one half of 6, this number here. Add it to the left, add it to the right. So now what's going to happen? This is going to be 6 over 2 is 3. 6 over 2 is 3. So 3 squared means 3 times 3. And 3 squared means 3 times 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9 again, right? You don't know that? Okay, fine. 3 times 3 is 9. You see how I use a machine right here? You can use one of these if that'll help. Okay, you can always use one of these graphing calculators, okay? All right, anyway, back to this problem. So now we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 40 plus 9. So bring it to the other side. So now we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 40 plus 9. x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 49. So this factors into x plus 3, x plus 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3x and 3x is 6x. x times x, x squared. So this is x plus 3 squared equals 49. Take the square root of this, square root of this, square root of this is just going to be x plus 3 equals plus or minus 7 x plus 3 is negative 7, or x plus 3 equals 7. So now to solve this one, x plus 3 minus 3 minus 3, so x equals negative 10. Over here, x plus 3 minus 3 is 7 minus 3, x equals 4. So x equals negative 10, x equals 4. Maybe, maybe. How do you know they work? Let's check it out. So x squared plus 6x equals 40. We're saying maybe negative 10 works. Try it. Negative 10 there, negative 10 there for the x. Negative 10 is a negative 10 is 100. Use your calculator if you want to. That times that negative 60. 100 minus 60 is 40. Is 40 equal to 40? Yes. Good. That works. Try 4. 4 squared is 6 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 6 times 4 is 24. 16 plus 24 is 40. Is 40 equal to 40? Yes. Good. So that means that x is negative 10. x is 4. They both work. Again, remember after you do all this studying... Remember, sharks eat only in the day, so you can swim at night. That's okay. They're not, they're not going to eat you at night. But in the day, daytime, watch out. Okay? Anyway, done. After you do that, well, go to Mustang Island. Have fun out there in the surfboard. Or if you want to, you got lots of cash in your credit card or cash, go to Hawaii. Get your Hawaiian stuff on. To go 40-foot ways in must North, North Shore or by Hawaii. That would be fun. My break your board, doesn't matter. Just get your smart board, get another one, get the decals off it, get a new one. Or Math Monsters, nah, they don't scare us. We know how to do a little bit of that. College Algebra 149. Math is fun. Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? Those are kind of scary, aren't they? Um, seven. Oh, seven more. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we just saw seven and seven. Yep. And what's more scary than that? Holy cow, giant crunchy one. How about giant crunchy two and three? Crunchy one, crunchy two, crunchy three. Nah, college algebra was more scary. Nah, not anymore. We know a little bit of college algebra. Anyway, good luck. It's Professor Alfredo Galvez Jr. Bye.